Servus guys and welcome to the second part uh, of the uh, Applied Energistics tutorial. Last time uh, we, are build, uh, we were building up uh, storage devices uh, which were very fine. This time we are killing flowers and we are building uh, an auto-crafting device which is called um, Molecular Assembler uh, Chamber. Well, I don't know, if, um, but we need, of course, assembler containment wall. And, uh, well, you can build this containment wall as big as you want. Uh, I go with 4x4, four four, which is, I think, very suitable for most users. Um, but, well, it depends. Um, it takes a lot of energy um, if you're building it bigger. So, um, well, this is fair enough for, from the start and uh, you can enhance it later on. So uh, the next things that we need are the heat vents, uh, crafting CPUs and pattern provider. So um, this is the pattern provider. Um, heat vents are, uh, where are the heat vents, heat vents, heat vents, heat vents. There we go. And we need the crafting CPUs. So uh, heat vents go to the bottom and the sides and um, yeah, at every wall, let's say. And then you can choose between having a lot of storage or uh, having uh, auto crafting speed. Um, we got these pattern providers. The pattern providers uh, provide pattern or provide receipts. And uh, if we click on one of them, you will see that uh, there is a lot of space for receipts. And, and um, I go with four pattern provider now. Uh, you see every spot is a receipt, so there's a lot of uh, receipts, we got four of them. And uh, I take in four crafting CPUs, which provide a lot of speed uh, with the crafting, so you don't have to wait too much time uh, while everything is being crafted. So, uh, heat vents and it changes its color, so it is working. Connect it with a cable and to your system and yeah, we can start. So the next thing is we need a pattern encoder. The pattern encoder is one machine that is not connected to uh, the system. This is uh, yeah, I'm one of the machines which is not connected, does not need um, any energy and you need some pattern um, where you can store your receipts. So we have three patterns uh, there, blank pattern. Okay, so this works like this. Put your pattern over there and there you got your crafting table and you can get there some receipts, yeah, put some receipts in there and encode it on your pattern so it gets saved, the receipt gets saved on your pattern. So let's take some sticks which are called stick and uh, let's say some iron. Da, 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 da. Iron, 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 ingot, uh, da, da, da. here we go. So uh, let's say pickaxe, for example, da, da, da. encode, and there we go. It says crafts one iron pickaxe with three iron ingot and two stick. Two stick. <laughs> okay, whatever. Um, let's say we want a shovel. Let's do it like this. Yeah, and encode. And here we go, our first two receipts. Just right click on your uh, molecular assembler chamber. And uh, there you can see you can click on next and have the four, have, um, have uh, access to four uh, pattern provider and um, just save them there. Just click, just leave them there. And now you can auto craft uh, these two items. Watch, uh, also very useful is the crafting monitor. The crafting monitor uh, shows you what's being crafted at the moment and uh, if there are materials missing, you can see it on your crafting monitor, which is uh, very helpful sometimes. So uh, on the left, you can uh, yeah, change your view uh, with stored items or craftable items and you see, okay, our pickaxe and uh, things is craftable. So you can say, okay, I want 10 pickaxe and begin. So now um, nothing is happening is happening and we look at our crafting monitor and says okay we need to do 10 pig eggs but we are missing materials so we need iron and sticks so let's get some iron and sticks into the system you will see there are five pig eggs 10 pig eggs so it's working very fast because we got uh, four crafting cpus uh, let's say some shovels and they're instant there they are 
Yes, this is um, more or less all about crafting, but now the real thing, the real cool thing is um, you can have receipts that um, have to uh, rely on other receipts. Let's say, uh, for example, what you see now in the background is um, we want to have iron plates. Uh, iron plates, we need the forge hammer. Uh, and the system is capable of crafting a forge hammer before they can craft um, uh, an iron plate. And uh, this is also this is so awesome because um, you can think of having well uh, cables or um, whatever kind of stuff uh, can be crafted over this thing. So you say to the system, okay, this is uh, a forge hammer and code. And uh, well, as usual, we save it in our um, assembler chamber. So forge hammer can be crafted. We go to the system and say, okay, uh, craft like 10 uh, forge hammer, begin. Uh, and now we got six forge hammer and uh, it says it's missing some iron. Okay, so we get some iron into the system and all forge hammer are there. So with the forge hammer, we can tell the system, okay, forge hammer and iron equals iron plate. So encode, click it, encode, encode, encode. So encode and uh, we got some new pattern. We save it in our assembler chamber and now we got some plates. And now the thing is, as I told you, I'm getting out all the forge hammers. So the system does not have a forge hammer. And I say, okay, craft iron plates. And um, as you will see, the system will craft a forge hammer before it crafts an iron plate. Just look closely, there are one forge hammer and we got our plate. And this is very, very awesome. Um, think of anything, you can have a high voltage solar array being crafted all by itself. <laughs> you just need to provide all items to this. And uh, this is very, very awesome. So um, yeah, I, anybody playing with Feed the Beast, uh, Chaos Will, DNS, Tech Pack or whatever, uh, I really recommend uh, having this. Um, this is really, really awesome, and it's still very cheap and affordable. This is uh, this is just amazing. So this is all about auto crafting uh, as a simpler ways. Uh, there are some other things you can do. Uh, maybe I do another tutorial then, but uh, for now on, this should be enough. Have fun rebuilding it, and yeah, I wish you. Uh, thank you, of course, for uh, watching this and um, have a good week, have a good day and see you next time, guys. Sales.